Philippians 2, 13. Philippians chapter 2, verse 13. For it is God that is in you that works to will and to do all things to the good of his pleasure. God works within you to do, to will, for his good pleasure. If you want to please God, you got to have God. If you want to please God, you got to have God. You can't please him without the Spirit. You can't please him without Christ in you, the hope of glory. It will be in vain. You'll try and you'll try and you'll try to make God happy. God, God is already pleased that you're coming to him. But he wants more than your coming. He wants more than your prayer. He wants to dwell inside of you so that he, through his spirit, can help you grow in grace. Not only give you that spirit so that you make it into heaven, the seal of the Holy Spirit is a seal that God sees and says, yes, you're coming to heaven. You, you have the Holy Ghost. You're coming to heaven. And so <clears throat> that's, that's the, the main part of the Holy Spirit is, is to guide us in all truth and to, to guide us in the ways of the Lord um, so, that, so that there's no doubt that God is the one who's doing it. All right, because he gets the glory. God gets the glory for everything that we do great, everything that we do good, everything that we every every time we don't do something evil, the credit goes to God. You know, the Christian life is not filled with self righteous people, and you know those people. You've seen them. You've seen the 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 clergy in certain churches and the and the certain individuals in the body of Christ that think they've got it going on. They are holy and you are unholy. They are they are up here and you are down here. They deserve the high seats and you you can sit on the floor. You know those people. You can feel that spirit. I can feel that spirit. And Jesus was adamantly, he, he was against that spirit. That spirit had no place in the kingdom. He said, if you want to be, if you want to be in my kingdom, then you're not looking for the spot. He told James and John to be first for he who is last will be first. And he who is first will be last. Don't try to. Don't try to butter God up. Don't try to to entice God to do things for you and to and to have God's approval by thinking you're doing it. It's pride. And pride has no place in the kingdom of God. So God, through the Apostle Paul here, speaking to the church of Philippi, is saying, It is God that is in you that works to will and to do. And so that's powerful because sometimes Paul said, I, I do the things that I don't want to do and I do the things that I do. Uh, don't, I, how do I say this? He says, the things that I don't want to do, <laughs> this is in Romans, the things that I don't want to do, I do, I end up doing. And the things that I know I should do, I don't do. And so he needs God, he says. Thanks be to God, the grace of God. God comes in. And helps me and guides me and even gives me nudges in those areas so that I do his will. So that I do what's right. Because on my own, I will not. And so I have his spirit. I have his word. And I have, well, do I need anything more than that really? His word, the Bible, and his spirit. It's nice to have godly people in my life. But if you were alone on an island and you had God's word and his spirit, it's all you need. It's all you need. And God's spirit's in that word. <laughs> so if you've got God's word, you've got it. Praise God. So I want to do this and I don't want to do that. 
How do I navigate that? By prayer, supplication, getting in the word, seeing what God says about it. And if I have struggles in certain areas of my life, then I need to submit those areas to God as they come and not give place for the devil, not walk in the in the flesh, but walk in the spirit. And so I've got to allow God. Yes, he, he dwells in us, but he allows us to either submit to him or to submit to the flesh. He gives us that choice. And so when we submit to him, then, then the devil will flee. Submit to God and the devil will flee. Submit to God and you won't do the things of the flesh. Submit to the spirit of God in you. So if you don't have the spirit of God today, if you're listening and you, you know, you're you not too sure about what salvation is and what receiving the spirit of God is, I encourage you to go to www.awalkinthespirit.com. That's awalkinthespirit.com. And right on the front page, it, it has the plan of salvation. So how how then can, how can I be saved? God tells us in his word, in the book of Acts, exactly how to be saved. And the apostle Peter um, binds, binds salvation with the word of God, with the word of Jesus, with G the, the name of Jesus, and with the receiving of the Holy Spirit. It's all bound together. And so once you're saved, then the Spirit. Then the Spirit. And once the Spirit of God comes to dwell in you, you can have power over sin, power over flesh, and power over the devil. Until then, it's, it's not going to work, folks. So if you're not having victory, it's because you're not having Jesus. If you don't have that desire in you it's because god isn't in you creating that desire till next time may the lord richly bless you